Uh, but you know, we have got uh, a man, a legend, the one, the only. I, 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 I find it strange to be Could saying these words. Bin, get rid of the bin. Tidy, tidy up the, up the workstation. Yeah. I've got the stats. I've got the Okay, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one, the only, Samuel L. Jackson! Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks for having me, you know, as usual. Do you know, uh, to celebrate uh, the fact you're on the show again, uh, we've done some specials, Samuel Jackson related. And this is something we don't do just for any guest. This is a real, this is a big thing for us. <laughs> okay. It's a really big deal for us. All right, right. And we've got the Samuel L. Jackson Vital <laughs> Statistics, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Vital Statistics Performance was great. Vital Statistics Yoda's his mate. <laughs> <laughs> Made up a poem oh, and everything. Oh, 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 that was okay. scintillating. Uh, yeah, you like that? Yeah. OK, um, before I start today's stats, I must explain we did invite the viewers to post their own Samuel L. Jackson stats on the website. OK. Uh, so when you hear this sound, or heat this sound, as it says in my script. People stats. Let's hear that. So when you heat that sound. <laughs> People oh, no, it's stats. not when you hear it. It says heat on my card. Uh, <laughs> that means the next stat is from the, as one word, viewer who will win a very special prize, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so just be aware of that sound. Here we go. Stat okay. one. Total number of Best Supporting Performance Awards presented at the Cannes Film Festival. Ever. One. One. Yes. Exactly right. It is one. <laughs> I'll tell you the story. Samuel L. Jackson's performance as Gator in Jungle Fever was considered so good by the Cannes jury in 1991, they created a special award no. just for our man Samuel. Yes. 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 He is the only actor ever to achieve such an honour. Wow. And his name is Samuel L. Jackson. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> we cry. We cry. Okay, let's have the next stat. Stat two. Oh. People stats. Wow. People stat. Uh, it's the people stat. All week we give you a chance to email us as 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 as, as, as a stat. Uh, this one is. <laughs> do you think, I, I think I'll get away with that. Um, this one is from James from High Wycombe. Oh. Hi Wycombe. Hey. Yeah. Do you know High Wycombe? Definitely. High Wycombe. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is it. This is the people stat. This is it. First time I've done this. This is absolute first. Congratulations! You've won a highly coveted and much sought after Vital Statistics tie. And remember, they're not available in the shops. Oh. <laughs> Phil oh. Gale loving that! <laughs> Phil, I've never seen you enjoy something. What is it about ties that makes you laugh? Oh, they're, they're, they have a certain sensual quality. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Don't, even, don't even go there. Uh, whoa, there. that sounds like something. OK, so here it is. Average length in years of a Hollywood marriage. Oh. Average length oh. Average in years. years. Oh. Skill and judgment, Samuel. Skill and judgment. Um. One. Four. 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 I think four. Simple answer, John. One. One what do you think that No, I think about five. Five. There's been a few. Five. Do you know what? We, I can lift my hands aloft because you've been exactly. No! Oh. Yes, it is the average length in years of a Hollywood marriage, five. Number of years, Samuel L. Jackson, my guest here this morning, mm -hmm. uh, has been married. Please, Please get, get it right. right. Please get it right. <laughs> 19. 19 is exactly Yay! right. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> he knows about his own life. <laughs> <laughs> so moving, that big name. He knows, every, he knows everything about himself. Uh, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just couldn't average that out for everyone yeah. else. Okay. Uh, number, <laughs> number of years, Samuel L. Jackson, sorry, Samuel married college sweetheart Latanya Richardson in, is it Latanya or Latanya? Yeah, Latanya, yeah, yeah. Latanya in 1980. They have a teenage daughter, Zoe. Right. Uh, we cry in the way he plays. We absolutely do. Okay, stat three. This is one of our stats. It's not from the people. There's no tie on this one. Number of films the average person would have gone to see in the last 10 years. Oh. Number of films the average person would have gone to see in the last 10 years. What do you think? Skill and judgment, please. Last 10 years. Mm. 
90. <laughs> Gonna have to hurry. About 90. 90. You reckon about 90 films? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, what about what about you, uh, Phil? What do you reckon? Uh, about 58. You reckon about 58 films? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Linton, what do you think? 300. Three hundred. Yeah, sure. No. Well, you're nuts. The average person. You're actually going with one a week for. <laughs> yeah. You know, but the you average know, person know. only goes to the movies maybe yeah. once a month, once yeah. every two yeah. weeks. Yeah. Yeah. He knows. That was amazing. Well, I told me. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Wow. So average person's been to see 34. Number of films Samuel L. Jackson has made in the last 10 years. Oh, Let's go to Samuel's friend Lenny at the back there. He's a tremendous golfer. <laughs> <laughs> you man then. 50. How many? 50. 50. You think he's made 50 yeah, films? Sure. 10 years? Yeah. Last, yeah. last 10 years? Oh, 40 years. That's a lot. <laughs> Be the stat. Be the stat, Sam. Be the stat. 67. That's a good number. Do you know what? You've overestimated by 20. You've been in 47 films 47. in the last 10 years. Uh, Samuel's amazing oh, resume up. includes True Romance, Jurassic Park, yes, Jackie yes, Brown, yes, Die yes, Hard with a Vengeance, yes. Long Kiss, Good Night, uh, uh, and also his bio, which he also oh, produced. That's the end of today. Samuel L. Jackson related by this is one of the show's greatest friends. I got paid for 60. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. Samuel, please take these vital statistics, uh, enjoy them, cherish them. Love Thank you. Them. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have you anything to say uh, uh, on the honor of being presented? Those any, anything you'd like to say? Um, I'd like to say um, it's not often that I get things from people, and uh, to be able to receive something from people that I revere and respect so much means so much to me. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Do you know what? While Samuel is just calming down, wiping away the tears, uh, we go to another incredible item now. It's time to dish the dirt and get the gossip from the Grand Prix ball and from the uh, Flower Festi fla <laughs> Festival, fla festival. Uh, in the Sizzler. It's all right, Sam. It's OK. Here's, here's the Sizzler. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, okay, welcome yeah. back to the Big Breakfast. It's You're Monday, the 12th of July. So uh, the man <laughs> making a commotion to my left hand side is none other than Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Um, and you know, Shannon Doherty, uh, late in traffic this morning. She's on her way to the show. Hey. Right, likely story. She is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming, Come on, my breakfast show is in trouble. Uh, do you know what, uh, Samuel L., uh, we've got to go to. Do you know Richard Bacon, our outside broadcast man? You must know Richard. Don't He's play with me. Don't play with me. He's a legend. You know the one. The good looking one with the mole. You used to be at the BBC? <laughs> <laughs> He's a, really, he's a national icon. He's a bad, he's a bad boy. Here he is. Bad boy. Hey, Richard Bacon. Bad boy. Samuel, uh, deeply disappointed. You don't know how I am, but uh, an honour to have you watching our debate about ice cream vans. There we go. Thank you very much, Richard Bacon. I'm looking forward to seeing how that item um, develops. OK. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's been with us in the house uh, for the last 20 minutes. Uh, he stars in the new Star Wars movie, Phantom Menace. I think you've heard of it by now. It's our second week off Star Wars. Uh, he's a living Hollywood legend, and he's the one and only Mr. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, once again, welcome to the show, Sam. Thank you very much. OK, now, in recent years, you've done TV interviews where you've openly said you wanted to be in the new Star Wars movie. Yeah. You openly said that. Yes. Why were you so keen on getting the part? What is it about Star Wars? Well, to me, it was um, this modern-day kind of pirate movie, you know, it's like swashbuckling, buccaneering, and I'd always wanted to be in a film like that because I was a huge Errol Flynn fan. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting in the theater, and here's this whole new version of it. And it's like, okay, how do I get in one of these movies? Now, it took me 20 years to figure that out. Yeah. But I you finally... You just say on air, you want to be in yeah, the film. Yeah, yeah, I said it. In fact, I, it happened when I was here. I was on... I guess you're kind of a late night version of the Big Breakfast. Um, there is no substitute. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. okay. All right, the Big Evening Supper. The Big whatever. Evening Substitute. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I was on that show when I said it, and, and they were doing research here, and somebody told George, and by the time I got back to um, the States, I was shooting a film in Vallejo, which is right down the road from his ranch, and he called and said, I want to come over and talk about that, just yeah. to see how serious nice. I was. And it's like, hey, OK. But were you a big fan of the original Star Wars films? Oh, totally, yeah. I was at the very first screening in America of Star Wars in New York, the opening day. 
Wow. You see, that quite an awesome little silence group. Yeah, yeah. Like that? But that was a good silence. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, we play with silence on the show sometimes. It's, it's actually someone. He's a real friend to us. It's a movie. Um, is it true you didn't know what your part was before you got on the set? No, I didn't. Um, when I had that meeting with George at the ranch, he told me that I might end up, you know, as part of the Queen's Guard, and he'd seen me work. And I know you're a great actor, but, you know, you may end up just going, run, duck, go this way, look out. And I was like, look, George. I'll be a stormtrooper with a mask on. Nobody has to know it's me. Only I want to know that I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, could you see how your character fits in on our Star Wars family tree here? I know you've been brief. Uh, very much. Right. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yoda's right hand man. Uh, Mace yes. Winter. So you're Yoda's right hand man. Of course. Okay. That's how I look at it, you know. I mean, we have private conversations. Okay, we, let's just see. So we, got... we whisper to each other, you know. So yeah. Everybody doesn't get that close to Yoda, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right, you don't get close to Yoda. Was he a lot of fun off, you know, when you stopped filming? Um... <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know, it's, um... It's a pretty funny thing because he actually is a puppet, yeah. But, um, <laughs> oh, but, no, no, but he has the force. No, no, no. But, but uh, one of the most giving and <laughs> generous, <laughs> generous, <laughs> generous, <laughs> generous actors that I've ever worked with. Yeah, of course. I mean, the, okay. the, the, the emotional range is just. It's extraordinary. Oh, what can I tell you? But the amazing thing, though, is when. Um, we're shooting, uh, Frank Oz naturally has his hand yeah. in him doing things. Yeah. And when George says cut, he takes his hand out and Yoda kind of falls over. <laughs> no! But his eyes and ears, his eyes are going sideways and his ears are moving, so it actually looks like he's just had some kind of attack. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of go, somebody come over here and help Yoda. <laughs> You okay, man? It's like, ah, ah, yeah. <laughs> and I imagine with just, just in there, face down with his ears wiggling. That's just yeah. comic anyway, just oh, flicking yeah. Yoda's ears. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at a clip of you in action. Here we go. If we look at that screen, they'll be able to see this. Here we go. You refer to the prophecy of the one who will bring balance to the Force. You believe it's this boy? I don't presume to. But you do. Revealed, your opinion is. I request the boy be tested, Master. Oh. Trained as a Jedi, you request for him, hmm? Finding him was the will of the Force. I have no doubt of that. Bring him before us, then. Oh! Very noble, Excellent. indeed. Very noble. Now, Sammy, how pleased were you when you discovered you are going to be a Jedi Master? <laughs> you know, I was, um... <laughs> it was one of those kind of things, you know, where I walked into the dressing room after reading it the night before. I was actually reading the, the uh, script. Uh, this guy's a Jedi. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's head of the Jedi Council. Hey, okay. Oh, I get to say the line. But none of that really strikes you until you actually get there and I walk in the dressing room and, you know, there were my robes hanging on the wall. Hey. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How did you feel okay. saying that? All right. May the force be with you. How did you feel saying that? Did you, you know, laugh? It, it, <laughs> It kind of takes a minute, you know, to get yeah. yourself together because you've heard people say it and you know <laughs> it's like an important thing. Um, my biggest question for a while was, am I the first one to say it? And I still didn't know until I actually saw the film. And I, oh, actually, are, you, are you the first to say it? It actually turns out I'm the second person oh. to say it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Me, uh, me, me. But were, you a bit, were you a bit disappointed you, you didn't use a lightsaber? Yeah. Exactly right. You didn't get to use a lightsaber. I had one on. I <laughs> know, oh, but you didn't, get, you didn't get to use it, though, did you? But I had it on. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't get to use it, did you? But you didn't use the lightsaber. I didn't use it on screen. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. Okay. They actually work, you know. I know they do. I knew that. I knew that. I knew I've got one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's how you, do you know what? Samuel L. Jackson has. <laughs> Do you know what? We've got a Star Wars shrine over there, uh, which will be the unveiling later in the show. But if you could sign these Jedi cufflinks. Wow. Oh, they are shit. Jedi cufflinks. Um, We're going to be giving them away shit. later. So They're really easy to thread are. into the cuff. They just seem to know where to go. <laughs> so the force is contained within those cufflinks. Uh, if you'd like... 
if you'd like to sign those. <laughs> So uh, I mean, you're gonna be giving them away. No, no, we, we got, we got the. This is not a gift. <laughs> <laughs> you have to earn them. Just game. come on the big reckless and get used. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you Thank you very much. We'll be oh, you know, on the lid in everybody. the box. We'll be oh, just on the, on the lid of the box. It's fine. Don't do not damage the actual cuff themselves. It's a precious metal. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that. Uh, do you know what? Here's how Think you win. work. Doesn't it work? <laughs> Actually, do you know what? I think they've given him one of those. They've given him one of those it's theft okay, pins. Okay. Go ahead, talk, talk. Okay, <laughs> do you know what? It's, a, it's one of those <laughs> theft <laughs> pins. Right, here's how you can win a holiday to. Okay, where's the holiday to? Go on, use the force. What? Uh, it's Tunisia. <laughs> it's, our, it's our competition la triviata, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Yay! Are we back on? Yes, we are, are we back on? Okay. Uh, now, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've been asking you to phone fax and email your questions into him this morning. We shall now present him with the fruit of your labours. Uh, a lot of people, I just said at the start, a lot of people have been asking to see the, your classic speech in Pulp Fiction. It's become mm. one of, uh, well, the screen's big icons, hasn't it? Yes. yes. I think Pulp, Pulp Fiction is actually number eight in the all-time favourite film was published this morning in all the national newspapers. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Number eight in there. It's a, it's a great film. And here's Samuel L. Jackson in action. Here we go. Ooh. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. This morning it's in the script, I see the words. They're actually great words, aren't they? In that? Yeah, they are. Yeah, people are constantly asking me, say, do you know that speech from Pulp Fiction? Yeah? Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> we actually couldn't show many more clips from the film, fun enough, on a breakfast show. Okay, I've got some questions here. <laughs> Simon Newton from St Albans asks, when did you, uh, what did you think to Skywalker Ranch when you went for your meeting with George? What did I think of it? Yeah, what do you think of it? It's a nice place? Uh, it's an awesome place. Uh, when you uh, get off the freeway, you get off on Lucas Valley Road, oh, the freeway yeah. exit. Uh, you get there, George has his own fire department. Uh, That's handy, a, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> there's a winery on the property. Um, there are five restaurants, a uh, huge screening room, and only about 150 employees. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. It's drink a great wine. place. Drink, if you want to drink wine and start fires in safety, that's the That's place to do it. Sounds like a good night yeah. out for many of the crew here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on, what's the uh, question? I've got one from Sue Frost from Lincoln. Are you going to produce more movies? Uh, yes. Um, hopefully, at the beginning of next year, I'll produce my second film, uh, The Caveman's Valentine. And hopefully by the middle of next summer, um, I'll be producing maybe that film you were talking about, The 51st State, which uh, we plan to shoot in Liverpool. You were going to shoot in that where? Liverpool. 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 Yeah. Really? Uh, that's where the Teacher of the Year is from, uh, who's in the house this morning. Morning. Oh, right? cool, Maureen. Uh, in the house. Yeah. It is one of Britain's Hello, greatest. Hello, Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> she can tell you the hot spots to go. It's one of the last places that has such an, uh, an identity of its own. It really does. Uh, yeah, I've heard that. City. Okay, my mother's from Liverpool. Actually, there's a, there's a revelation. The Liverpool. Okay, yeah. how many big Kahuna burgers did you have to munch your way through <laughs> when filming Pulp Fiction? <laughs> well, that's and that's from James Dawson in Norwich. You are. Yeah. Oh, you pretty... want to know about the burgers? Well, I want to know about <laughs> That's a pretty difficult question because we actually shot that killing room scene for about four days. Uh, oh. And Quentin likes to shoot entire scenes. So we would go through the entire sequence, you know, maybe, you know, 15, 16 times a day. Ooh. So That's for four days, yeah. So and the then we did, from Norwich, yeah. it's a lot and then we did the close-ups and the medium shots, and you know, the, the insert of the burger. So that probably about 150, 200 burgers passed. No. Yeah. I hope that answers your question. I hope that answers your question. That's coming from Norwich. Kelly, what's your question? Okay, how did it feel to get to say the line "May the force be with you" on screen? And that's from Phil Ramsbottom in Dorset. Dorset. Um, you know, it's it's um, a powerful thing to do. Uh, you know you're um, saying something that everyone's heard a million times, so you hope that you find some unique way of saying it. Um, I don't know if, it, if, if I said it uniquely, but I said it uh, convincingly. Could you, could you give us the line there? Um, well, see... <laughs> You know, under the right well, circumstances. Under the right circumstances, depending upon what your chair. goal is yeah. or how, uh, how much danger you may be in when you're leaving, you know, all those things go into it because there's like a, 
you know, have a safe trip, may the force be with you. Mm -hmm. And then there's a be very careful, you know, may the force be with you. Well, what would you, what would you yeah. say to say, Grant, that's quite miserable, camera there. What would you say to our viewers as they face another week? How would you say that? Just another week, it's going to be hot. Yeah. May the force be with you. That's lovely. That's lovely. I think, do you know what, I think that's, that's, really, that's genius. That's like stay cool. That's like stay cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, just needs a quick, quick, requiring quick answer. All right. this. Nazir from Oxford, are you in episode two? I hope so. You hope so. Okay, <laughs> Simon Newton uh, from St Albans. What do you, oh, that's Skywalker, right? Sorry, I read that. Uh, James Markham, what was in the briefcase in Pulp Fiction? Uh, three heavy ass batteries and four lights. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay. Is it true you're going to be, is it true you're going to have a part in Rocky Six? Never, I don't know. I don't know anything about Rocky Six. <laughs> Call Stallone. He was asking about that one. That is from Sylvester Stallone. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> this is from this is from Sarah Eastwood in Leeds. No relation to Clint. Are you still going to play Shaft in the movie remake? By September, we should be shooting. Oh, fantastic! Wow. Do you know we've got time for the game? We've got time for a quick game. Okay, yes. uh, pu uh, pull out the ball. This is the very first of our games this morning. This is uh, uh, we've got Star Wars games all week. This is R Tattoo D Who. Oh, that is pathetic. That is good. OK, bring Did in Christopher. Here we go. Uh, uh, Sam, if you'd like to stand up, please. Now, Christopher has got Star Wars characters tattooed on his back. <laughs> there we can go. Uh, th there we go. These are uh, Star Wars characters. You see the Star Wars. They're just missing cleverly that mole there. Uh -huh. OK, here we go. Uh, which one should we do first? Uh, producer, that one, that one, or that one? I'll start top left. Uh, which one do you want to take away? Uh, which piece? Two. Piece number two. OK, you ready? Yeah. Ooh. Any ideas? There is that Star Wars music in the background just to help? Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, Davis from Wales? No idea. Okay, have a look at one. Oh, Stormtrooper. Okay, there we go. Any idea? Stormtrooper! No, it's, not a storm, it's not a Stormtrooper. Ta Kelly, tell him who it is. It is. Was that. Ta it's Christopher, Christopher Davis! Christopher Davis? What's he talking oh, about? Christopher Davis, what? You tell him who it is. Boba Fett. Boba Fett, thank you very much. Oh. That's Boba Fett, didn't you know that? Because everyone knew here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sorry, oh, no. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Are you ready for the next character? Yeah. How long did that take in, certainly, Boba Fett? I don't know where. Okay, thank you. Well, Start well, to speak well. it. Okay, here we go. You ready? Number one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number one, coming away here. Piece here, you ready? Oh, that's a big piece. I've taken one and three. You ready? Any ideas? Wow. Yeah, Darth Sidious. And who do you reckon it is? Darth Sidious? No. Okay, Darth you Maul, sorry. Do you think Darth Maul? Let's have a little look. You're absolutely right, it is Darth Maul. Okay, number one for the PC. You ready? Yeah. One, two, or three. Which you want to go? One. One. Okay, here we go. Huh. Jabba. Oh, Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt. Sorry, sorry, is that hurting oh. at all? How long, did Jabba, how long did Jabba take? About a week. About a week. Okay, which a one week. here? I think this is going to be a big giveaway quite early on, isn't it? The you Vader. I mean? It is Vader. You knew just by the shape of it. There we go. Uh, please turn around. Thank you very much, Christopher. Uh, Christopher, yeah. what's the news over here? Look at that back, though. Isn't that extraordinary? Just show that off to get the camera really close up. Just scan it. Isn't that extraordinary? Yeah, it's wow. Not finished yet. Not finished yet. Are, you, are you going to get the Samuel L. Jackson character on? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, How about that? Wouldn't that be a tribute to you? Wouldn't you love that? Um, yeah. you, do you know if you're tattooed Make on sure any... Make sure you send me a picture there, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Christopher, ladies and gentlemen, and of course... Yay! The one, the only, Mr. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are there any photographers in the house? No! Oh. Thanks. <laughs> in the house. We've got yeah. Elvis's Jordan S, Scotty Moore and DJ Fontana, Justin Preston and more from That's the Ultimate Zone Shrine. Yeah. But finally, yeah. when Samuel L. Jackson got the role of Master Jedi in The Phantom yeah. Menace, he was incredibly excited but he didn't get the chance to use it so Johnny's going to put him to the 